you know, I have this great privilege once again to be here to thank all the participants uh, from the institutions, the sponsors, and most importantly, the innovators and the entrepreneurs uh, who this is for. Um, it's a privilege uh, in my last two years uh, or so as the ambassador, traveling around, um, meeting incredible people who have inspired me. Uh, President Obama will be visiting Spain uh, in July. Uh, he will be, it will be his first trip uh, to this country as president, uh, and it will be the first visit of a U.S. president in 15 years. Uh, the focus of his visit will be multi-purposed, uh, but one of the big things that he will do is, uh, is be here to talk about his promotion of entrepreneurship around the world, uh, the Global Entrepreneurship Summit, which will take place in Silicon Valley in a couple of weeks, and this is part of that. This is part of a global movement. I think Incube is a very important initiative because I think it brings people together in a unique way. I've talked in the last two days to people like entrepreneurs who just started their businesses, people who had like plenty of experience with serial entrepreneurs, and this unique mix and bringing them together with venture capitalists and others, I think this is what really makes this event stand out. I think these kinds of initiatives are like super important and the reason I think they're important is because as entrepreneurs very often you know we, we live a bit in our own bubble because we work so hard and we're trying to like focus on like bringing our ideas to reality and being in an initiative like this actually helps us to share our experience with other entrepreneurs and learn from them and also to meet other people in the ecosystem that can you know, help us along the way. That's why I think it's important. Tens of millions of new jobs have been created thanks to the entrepreneurial efforts of people like you in this room. The fact that entrepreneurship is not just the driving engine behind growth <clears throat> and job, uh, job growth and prosperity, it empowers individuals. That's why we all have to find ways <clears throat> to make it easier for people to turn their good ideas into great businesses. The energy and courage of individual entrepreneurs is, of course, the most important element of this kind of growth. Say, well, we're here to celebrate entrepreneurship. Why are you telling us that like 50 to 80 percent of your investments are going to fail? That's not very inspirational. Um, well, the fact of the matter is, most startups fail, most investments fail, but a few succeed, and a few succeed wildly. Silicon Valley is not a place, it's a state of mind. It's kind of an insane state of mind. All you have to do is be crazy enough to believe. actually critical that entrepreneurs meet each other and network with each other. So initiatives like this help entrepreneurs from Spain, meet entrepreneurs from other countries. I'm here from New York City. And that formation of a network and a community is critical to growing a tech ecosystem. Oh, my experience in InCube has been fabulous. I've enjoyed um, 
all the people I've met, the, um, the topics are incredibly interesting, and I like the structure of it that you have plenty of time also to network and meet with each other. I think what the U.S. Embassy here in Spain and Chamber of Valley are doing is awesome. There are so many synergies between both markets and especially on the startup ecosystem, which is growing a lot here in Spain. And we have a lot of cases where companies move from Spain to the U.S. and also companies that move from the U.S. to Spain in order to open a new office and, and, and well, be close to, to the European market. has been impressive. I've been talking to tons of interesting people, attending sessions and meeting new people, catching up with friends, so, so it has been impressive. So next time I'll be here. <laughs> So we can all agree that now the Spanish startup ecosystem is really gearing up, it's really becoming powerful. But we also know that if you want to have a growing entrepreneurial system, you need more VCs, you need more VC funds, we need to do more. So I'm delighted to announce today that there are some new VC funds that have been raised and that are going to help the Spanish ecosystem grow even further. The Kibo Ventures, K Funds, and GME Venture Capital have together raised 170 million euros in new funds that they're going to invest in Spanish entrepreneurs and Spanish startups. So I want, bravo. The capital going in to companies in Europe is pretty efficient actually. So with about 10 times less capital, we're producing about 25% of the unicorns that the US are actually producing. But Founders Pledge is a charity that was launched a year ago in London. Um, the idea being that entrepreneurs have a very unique opportunity to do good in the world. Um, but often entrepreneurs are very limited when it relates to time, when it relates to resources, and when it relates to support. And this is a problem because these change makers, these entrepreneurs who are building the businesses that affect how we deal with tomorrow. So if you want to build a business, you focus on making meaning, not money. So if you want to get rich, you should not do that. Uh, if you're here today at McClure, actually, it's, you have very slim chances of succeeding, right? So I would say entrepreneurs need to do this because of their passion. They have to change the world. But when it comes to exits, and they will happen, and we see them happening, <clears throat> We are always talking about how we want to really change the world, how we want to give back to the community. And we do that. Huh? We give our talks, we mentor, we write blogs. But this is about a real commitment of giving back real money when it happens, when the exit happens, and give this back to the community. So what I like a lot about this is that we're always talking about things. And in Spain, we love to talk about stuff that we're going to do somewhere. This is real commitment happening now. So we, we have a document here that Andrew's okay. going to sign go. um, for his very great exit at TicketBiz. Uh, it's been, uh, my experience in Incubate has been phenomenal, like just getting to see all the, all the friends from different places and kind of sharing all their experiences, it's been phenomenal, it's really well organized. The Coam, it's an amazing place, uh, so yeah, great job, I'm looking forward to come back next year.
so far, this uh, the experience for us has been awesome because we have met many investors, we have met really good entrepreneurs, and we have learned experiences from the other side of the Atlantic Ocean, also from the local side as well. So it has been awesome. where the key to success is going to be on having companies and co big corporations being able to work hand in hand with startups by creating partnerships, acquisitions, and working together. Yeah, large companies who are leaders today stay leaders by engaging in startup community and in engaging and in investing and actually trying to find a way to identify the next set of disruptions so that we can either be a part of that uh, or at the very least be knowledgeable enough to be able to navigate through it. So it's a big part of how we drive the innovation strategy at Cisco. I totally believe that the initiatives like InCube are essential for our ecosystem. So the idea is not replicate what can't be replicated, like replicate the, the, the American ecosystem into our ecosystem, but it's really important for us that we understand what can be done better and what have been uh, done wrong in the past. How can we strengthen our ecosystem? How we together, uh, investors, uh, entrepreneurs, and institutions can work together to make this ecosystem better. Yeah. Um, I've been to many events lately, but Incube is one of the few that has given me a lot of feedback of what entrepreneurs mean to a country, of what we can do as a startup, and, and definitely feel that we have not only feedback from people that are caring about us, but a very important role in the economy. So I feel very grateful that the American Embassy, that all the participants have given me the opportunity to participate at such event because as I said, I've been to many others, but this is definitely the very best that I would never miss because um, it's, it's absolutely amazing and, and great to have so many people around you that are feeling part of something. Tomorrow is not just another day, it is the next step to our journey to get this done, to strengthen our collaboration and build a better future for our world.